Shut up. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Hello. Welcome to another gameplay of Monarch. Last time we played, we finally beat the twins, which was shocking that uh, Samuri liked a what's it? Akane, right? That was her name. Akane. Or is it? Here, uh, no, 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 where, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, Connie, which was surprising for me at least that somehow the twin liked each other. Other than that, um, yeah, let's continue the story. I don't know where to go from this, but okay, bye. <laughs> oh, oh, and he, he left the group. Uh, all right, let me go here. I, I just want to see. Nope, nothing. <laughs> hey, do you guys talk? Stop. No more. No, uh, Don't shut up. Make me go. Hey, what? I oh. Oh. School. Oh, I must say, what, what do you mean? Don't make me go. All right. He's like, come on, talk, talk. Uh, nope. No more. Fine. Yes. Keep your secrets. Keep your secrets. Oh, no, no, yeah, let, I think, let's just go up the same trail we did last time, I guess. Just want to check around first. Oh, found a spot in EB. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you? That badge of yours. You're a second year, correct? Maybe. I'm not even sure myself. Is everyone in the second year building all right? Uh, 50 50 on that. I don't know. Oh, I see. I guess you wouldn't know how things are going inside then. I, I'm just guessing everybody died. <laughs> like, if we saw from when before we woke up, we got That's stabbed. That's too bad. Well, if you hear anything, please let me know. First of all, the who first are you? The floor is covered in mist, so we can't just walk in and see for ourselves. <laughs> all right, yeah, everybody's probably dead. If the first floor is covered in mist. I, what, what is that supposed to do? What is this? Wait, what? Gl Wait, is it Glenny? Oh my god, 400. Hello? It's your boy. I'm calling for that. For that. What the fuck? Oh, this doesn't seem scary. Oh. Damn. Come on, we fought. We could fight though. We're not that fucking. Weird. Come on, man. Picking on the weak, huh? Not on my watch. Christ. On my watch. Uh, trying to fight these lame brains is gonna get you nowhere fast, you know? Yeah, it is this dude. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> We're friends now. Are you alright? Of course I am. That looks painful. <laughs> Couldn't you have found a more pacifistic way to settle this? No. They must all die for trying to hurt me. You're giving me too much credit here. What? Besides, you can't spell pacifist without fist. <laughs> what the fuck is that kind of cringy line? What the fuck? You want peace? You gotta fight for it. 
but oh yeah. that's just something my gramps used to say though mm -hmm. you just leave these kids to me I'll take care of them they're all yours first of all who I the hell are you guys too badly but I'll rest a little easier if you've got them dr. Nako oh that's our Nako. yes yes leave it to old dr. Shiro Neko Why did she sound mad? So, never seen you around before. Uh, nope. Wait, what do you nah, mean? Not that I care either way. Wait, why? Why? Scram. You'll get hurt hanging around here. Don't turn back. Have it your way. You want to go inside that bag? Fine. I'll show you around. Oh! Motherfucker does have missed. From another authority? You hey, motherfucker. You a pact bearer? Wait, what, 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 what was so. your pine here? You're a lot stronger than you look. My power didn't do a damn thing to you. I'm Rio Taro Date, the pact bearer of gluttony. What? You don't even look like gluttony. What's your name? Why are you here? Oh, wait. Gluttoning to fight, I guess. Why the mist? So, you're the vice president of the TSC, huh? Are they go against All me? Alright, I get it. You want to defeat the other pack bearers and turn everything back to normal. You gotta be mm -hmm. the real deal if you manage to take down Kurama. Kurama. Yeah, he was always bugging me to team up with him. <laughs> His grand scheme didn't jive with me, so I beat him to a pulp. What the? F I went out of this academy as much as the rest of you. But the thing is, I can't afford to lose my authority. Why? If we don't see eye to eye, we're gonna have to fight it out sometime or another. <laughs> but not right now. There's this weird disease going around the second year building. Ten to one says it's someone's authority. Huh. I don't know why, but some pack bears bent on making everybody in there suffer. Oh, Grinds shit. my gears just thinking about it. I'm gonna find out who's behind all this and beat the crap out of them. Oh, damn. I can take you on after that, if you want. Huh. Actually... Oh, you want to fight now? Go a lot faster if you help out. You catch my drift? Uh, no, fuck no, <laughs> man. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I think Gramps had a saying for this: keep your enemies close and your nemesis closer. What? Is it keep your friend close and keep your enemy closer? Uh, last time I don't remember Good nemesis. Out, Mr. VP. Yeah, like last time Act I don't one. remember. Ryotaro Date. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. So, I'd love to get this manhunt started right away, but let's exchange some info first. How'd you manage to take down a pack bearer? <laughs> I like we're just like spilling beans. We're not trying to keep secrets because we know we're going to have to fight them. Okay, so breaking these ideal things voids the pact. And the way you find them is by getting calls in the mist. Makes sense to me. The mist oh, yeah. is all over the building. It's, let's hurry up and investigate the mist so we can waste that asshole. <laughs> Damn, aggressive. 
Oh, yeah, the entrance was right here. My bad. What? Oh my god, is he dizzy? Is he like fucking Soru from One Piece? He, he, he gets lost? <laughs> if he is, that'd be funny. Alright. I hope there's no stupid riddles on this one. Look where we're staring at. Oh, Alright, I was about to say, what? I thought I'm gonna get right away. There we go, the madness is growing. Can you pull it? So, this is Tears Village. So, this is where our character should be at. And he's blocking the way. Get out of my way. <laughs> Causing this though. That's pretty much how it looks. They're griping and groaning in pain, but physically, there's nothing wrong with them. And yeah. the only ones getting sick are the students in this building. But that's not all. I can feel a trace of someone's authority coming from them. I say, first time I, I ever heard that. My ability is called Hostile Takeover. It lets me steal power from others. Oh my god, that's kind of OP. What I feel from the people in this building reminds me of what I took from Karama. It's twisted. Wait. The kind of feeling you can only get from an authority. Oh, well, that means I could be Karama if he stole his power. It's not all that strong, though. Probably wouldn't affect anybody with some resistance to authorities, like us pack bearers. Mm. I'm still questioning if we are pack bearers, because, like, I don't think there was any miss when we were using our ability, right? I it serious a thousand worries. Hey, you, why not try to take a. Oh. All you gotta do is answer questions. If you have a rock ship, all to yourself, what we do. Uh, create another world. Go to space to confirm the Earth is blue. Go to the moon. Build something in space. Try to communicate. Um, oh, that's pride. <laughs> I don't know how that's pride. If we're gonna be trapping for eternity, then we're gonna stick out together. Just two of us. Just the two of us forever. Yeah, till death do us part. Oh, Shoma, I'm so happy I could burst into tears. In fact, I dance is dead. Am I so happy that I was actually hurting? Are you okay, Nana? Huh. I truly love people here. Let's see. Hey, guys. It hurts. The pain. It just came out of nowhere. Are you okay, Sweetie? You want to go to first aid room? Alright. Dino Tech Monarch, I presume. Many a time have I heard that name whisper on the cabinet winds as of late. The memory may lose three, D, but I bet D remember my name, Kosuke Saki. One day, it shall be the name of a man who will rule the cabinet from his shadow. That day was meant to be ere long, once those blessed dirty years graduated. But, uh, even I could foresee that wish how they befond this cabinet. What the fuck is this you're talking about? In the word, the switch is clearly my favorite. Ha ha ha. The laughter flow from me like wine. Are you okay? You got a dad Chibuyu here. A Ch Chibuyu you here. Ah, what are you saying? A delusionist. I like him though. He's read another one. It's not that angry. What the? Ah, ah, who turned off, off the, all the action in here? Alright, she's dying. I'm not gonna save her. Everyone's gotten to miss, and not a single one will come back out. I'm shaking my boots. About to go looking for them. Uh, bad idea, man. You're... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the fuck uh, is Mr. this, dude? Tsumabuki, it hurts so much. What a pitiful, 
pitiful sight. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> All right, this you had to be a uh, fucking monarch. And God, are ever so cruel. Are we have to murder this man? <laughs> and you are? I don't recognize you, but judging by your badge, you appear to be a second year. We need to kick his ass. Be wary. This building is cursed. It's been like this since these anomalies began appearing in the academy. He has be, he has to be the monarch here. He just <laughs> his eyes. My precious students, one after another. Just what did we? What did they do to deserve this? It's madness. It must be a curse or some form of divine punishment. Oh my god. All we can do is pray. It, it, this has to be some bullshit. He must be faking it or he just like so delusional on this or something. <laughs> Even he knows. A curse? Divine punishment? What a load of bull. Let's get going, Mr. VP. Sticking around here ain't gonna do us much good. It hurts. Help me. Oh my god. Keep it moving. Damn. Hold it right there. Ryotaro, how can you be so? Uh, dude, you're kind of in our way. <laughs> your friends are suffering right before your eyes. Listen, dude, I don't know half these people. Now get out of my way before I force the old man. If you just don't slap him, just like just brightly slap the old man, put him on the floor. How can you pass them by so callously? Haven't you the heart to care for others? Like I said, man, I don't give a damn. Friends? I don't even oh, know shit. their names. How are they my friends? Holy shit, I was right. Part of me's like, fuck them. I don't know anyone of these people. How? Oh shit. What a pity. You were such a good, honest child. How did you become so rotten? Are you guys related by chance? What would your late grandfather say if he could see you now? I'm guessing they're related. Not much. He wouldn't care about small-time shit like this. <laughs> Just leave me alone, Mr. Tsumabuki. Tsumabuki. I will not. Hayate. Your grandfather and I were close friends. What's that got to do with me? So, if you're not going to leave me alone, then what are you going to do? Oh, shit. I shall pray. What? I shall pray for you to find your once kind heart. For your sins to be forgiven. For your continued safety within this accursed school. What the fuck? I shall pray. Even if the only prayers you receive are mine. Did you freak me out? What a load of crock. <laughs> oh no, he said he can't say crap, even though we heard him before. <laughs> Hold on, Crocs. <laughs> Prayers can't save people. Wait! What now? <gasps> oh my god, he actually did punch the old man. Oh <laughs> shh. Damn. How could he do that to Mr. Sumabuki? Yeah, okay, I think you guys are praying the wrong guy here. He's definitely Hasn't evil. Mr. Sumabuki suffered enough? I can't believe he'd hurt an old man. That guy's the lowest of the low. <sighs> what? 
What? I'm sure only he he probably could sense that he has a monarch. Nothing. He's a pack bearer. I was just thinking. Oh. Oh shit. I was just thinking. You guys are all sick in more ways than one. Damn. There's a staircase further down the hall. We can get to the first floor from there. All right. Let's get going, Mr. VP. Let go. Oh, right. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking sore is in this in this game, isn't he? He got lost again. But damn. Oh, everybody's gone. Everyone's suffering, not just me. Mr. To spooky words are what keep us going without him. Things will be any worse. I don't know. I think he's killing it right here. I'm just a spooky. He's a respectful person and a good teacher. I'll give him that. But I'm not that crazy about him. Couldn't tell you why, though. Something about him doesn't sit right. Oh, trust me. You guys missed the scene. The trail is getting cold on what causes these unknown release. Even worse, it would start to double over in pain. What could be going on here? My infestation haven't come anywhere close to cracking the story. Oh, you are, are you guys all sick? I think it's going on with me. I just heard it out of nowhere. Are you okay, Nami? Man, I'm trying to feel it too. Did I catch it from you? You bitch! <laughs> we just see a cat fight. <laughs> it's because we all trust Tsubuki that any of us are able to go through all this crazy mess. You're a second here. You don't look familiar. Alright, I'm more percent sure we don't exist. They don't recognize us. I used to play hooky a lot, but thanks to Mr. Spooky, my tennis is a lot better. It's not dishing him. And joined to a cool club. But <laughs> well, look at the mess that got me in now. Maybe I better off coping myself at home. What? Why were you doing that? I... That's just so, something so random. Like, I don't expect someone to skip school. Joins like a fucking paranormal club. That's so how weird. Oh my. Our president's circumstances exceed the bounds of human understanding. That's only one possible explanation. Paranormal Fenwa is upon us. Won't you agree? Right, we, we have to make sure we hit that shit from her. I have been able to practice since a mess up here. I don't know what to do if I cannot run. My blood's struggling up there as well. I don't know where the pain's coming from. Wait, wait. Oh, he's getting sick. Wait, are you getting here? You're dying too, aren't you? As if I haven't been through enough, now I have to suffer this too. God damn, my lungs. Like I said, I'm, I'm sure it's a t shirt. That teacher is suspicious as fuck. Definitely he opened his eyes. That shit scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I'm afraid we're going I'm afraid we're going downstairs. That's interesting. Mr. Tsumabuki was a friend of my gramps. Well, uh, I'm sorry to say that your gramps have some evil friends. I was a kid. Pretty sure he was the dean of some other academy back then. He was kind of famous as an educator. I think the government even gave him an award or something. What? <laughs> My gramps never shut up about how great he was. And from what I could tell, he was right. All right. But about five years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki got sick and quit his old job. Even to the day my gramps died, he was worried about the guy. And I remember it pretty well. Then two years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki came out of nowhere and showed up here. <laughs> he seems different from what I remember, though. Oh, uh, yep, I am confirmed. That is confirmed. He does have a monarch. Real talk, I think the guy's gone senile. I mean, praying? In the middle of all this? If you've got time to pray, you've got the time to fix the problem yourself. Much better to take action than sit around crying. Damn. You'd have to be pretty messed up yourself to put a guy like that on a pedestal. <laughs> Leaving things up to someone else is the same as ditching your own free will. Damn, he's spitting back. Without it, what's the point in anything? That's no way to live, if you ask me. Life's about proving your worth, after all. Leaving your mark on the world. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong, so give me that. All right. It seems this place too. All right. All right, let's see. What's the call for this is? Yes. Envy. Huh. 
Interesting. So it's envy on this one this time. Oh shit, we need to level that dude up. <laughs> I forgot he's only level one, isn't he? They love you up because you're weak as hell. I love how his Magic Gear changed, you know, we never saw his original Magic Gear, but well, okay. Oh shit. Oh, fuck it. That's the best we could do. Alright. It's the lowest level, so fuck it. Well, there, we leveled him up as we could, level 15, and we changed his imaginary Gear twice. Let's go, Rio Taro. It's time. Oh, shit. He looks kind of bad at the end, but... Okay, he finishes right away. You're over. Yeah! You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. My ego didn't grow for shit. <laughs> There, we don't need to worry about cause anymore. Alright, um let me check around. Let's see what's around here. You're different from us. What wait, what what do you mean by that? Because again, I feel like our character does not exist. You're different from us, aren't you? Huh. Interesting. Like the deep down for like our Again, when we came here, nobody recognized us for some reason. It is weird. And clues and clues. Right here. There's no other way we need to become normal again than our salvation will come. It has to. What the fuck? Oh. I tried really hard to find the flower blank love. Blank rest in peace. <gasps> Yo, no fucking way. I think that does confirm we're dead. We have to be dead right here. No wonder nobody fucking knows us. Right? Because right here, I really, I try really hard to find the flowers. Blank love. Blank. Rest in peace. Chiyu Aki. Oh, shit. Damn, that's an early spoiler if that is true. Like Hey you. Don't come any closer. Come any closer. What do I have to be what do I have to do to save it's to pray? Hey you hey you! Did you wander into the mist by accident? It's dangerous past here. You should turn back. What the fuck? To keep you from going any f to get you to save us. To get you to save us? Save you, huh? Hey, hey you. dude, fight her. It's you be up three other people. Might as well just beat her up too, right? Huh? I'm not lying. Huh? I told you I wasn't lying, didn't I? Bullshit. You liar. Persistent, aren't you? I already said I wasn't lying. <laughs> Are we supposed to just keep on keep pressing on her or what? Cut the crap already. I guess. You are so 
Infuriating. Then get out of my way, this lady. Annoying as hell. I feel like I'm gonna lose it even more. Should have just listened and gone to the science lab. Should have just gone insane like us. Should have just listened and gone to the. <laughs> Actually, work. We just annoyed the fuck out. What? That is fast. What the hell? Or wait, wait. That's too fast. I want to check the other stuff. <laughs> Again, that's important clue it's right there. Right. Oh, it isn't going anymore? It just Damn. Isn't right. Oh no, wait, wrong wrong room that way. But yeah, I if we, since we read that, alright, I wanna see what's over here then. Hey, you. You're different from us. You're still normal. I'm yeah. right, aren't I? I can tell. Well, <laughs> man, I envy you. What's with that Joker Hurry laugh, man? End our suffering. What the fuck? Hey, over hey, over here. Oh wait. Why did this ha have to happen to us? It isn't fair. It's crazy, depressing, frustrating, disgraceful. Wait, I got it. We all need to do is make everyone like us. Our, our normally will become a new normal. Then our salvation will hey, come. What the over fuck? Here. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're we're not going to hell. That hey. is a terrible idea. But remember, that thing will make us go 100% mad. You, you're different. You aren't messed up. You aren't poor and pathetic. Like what us. The fuck? <sighs> Must be nice. Please, put us out of our misery. All right, so that, cause that's the science lab, so that what she meant. Uh, cause that's a fucking trap. Hmm, got it. Huh. I guess that is the right spot. I thought that would be like a fake phone thing or something. I'll do for that. Oh, wait. I didn't want to do this. There we go. But still, yeah. So that note that we just read. That, that basically confirms it. We're, we're dead. Right, cause yeah, right here. I try really hard to find the flowers. Blink, love, blink, rest in peace. To you, Aka. What does that mean, though? So she knows we're dead. Then why does she still treat us as like her brother? What the fuck? All right, let's go. Like that's that's the question. If she knows we're dead, why is she still treating her, like still treating us real alive then? Cause what, she should be more in shock. Like oh, oh it's green. That's new. That rock over there, one of those ideal things you were talking about. Looks like a piece of cheap jewelry. <laughs> no wonder they break so easily. Jeez. I said, why did you form back? I've got a wish I need to fulfill. And I want to prove my worth, too. Gotta have power to do both. That's why I made a pact with the monarch of gluttony. It's not that complicated. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't had a dream about Yoru since the anomaly started, either. Oh, yours matter, right? Mr. VP, Karama mentioned having a similar dream himself. Hmm. I say, I spoke her in my dream. Yep. You guys talked? She did all the talking for me. Hmm. Told me about the other world, monarchs, authorities. Didn't let me get a word in. Guess the dream's different for each pack bearer. Like, 
Unless that, unless that stands that we are a monarch in reality. All right. Let's get to work. No, that's not going to be right. We saw your form. This stuff is my magic gear, right? The monarch of gluttony gave me the rundown. <laughs> As are those guns? Yeah. You surprised? They're pretty rare in Japan. It's Don't okay. worry about my aim, though. My gramps beat the basics into my head. I won't screw anything up. You better not. There's a lot. Jesus, there's a lot. Let's go, Leotaro. It's meeting time. Get ready. You're open. Oh wait, here I come. Four. Hello, twenty four. What? <laughs> I forgot. I changed. I didn't change Wonder Voice. I totally forgot. All you. Oh my god! This voice is so goofy. What the fuck? I know I could be fighting with I might have to kill that. I don't think I do. Unless it's healing. Get up. I owe you. Like I said, I'm gonna heal real quick, so I'm just gonna wait. EXP! EXP! Wretched fools! Get up! I owe you. Oh god, this. Get ready! Back down. EXP! EXP! Let 
to the pools. This is kind of scary. I won't back down. EXP! EXP! Okay, uh, way right here. I feel like a good boy, I'm way right here. Wretched fools. Oh god! You bastard. Get ready. Oh, uh, you know what? I won't back down. I won't be defeated. How did I miss? What the? F oh wait, shit! I've got a trigger defense. <laughs> Yo, God, there's a level jump. What? Real Taro? What? You know him? Been a while, Perez. Well, Vice President. I see you're letting in just about anybody now. <laughs> Is he just letting in? But oh, I really don't like him. Hey, what the hell is this? I thought you guys were the true student council. This place is a dump. So this is that view, Taro, huh? As I'm confused, what do you mean? Wait, wait! I saw that you left a note on my. Practically an academy legend. By the way, to you, I saw you left a note on my table saying I'm dead. What is that about? Actually, because he's one of the heirs to the Date group. And because he brought in a nude model for art class. <laughs> and, because he and because he got separated during a field trip and ended up touring all of Japan before returning. What? And because the Academy added multiple pages to the school handbook specifically because of him. What He's the fuck? Quite a name for himself. Damn, During what? the last school entrance ceremony, he vanished abroad for an entire year. He didn't even tell his family. He only just got back. Damn. That gap year he took is the reason he's in your grade. But he should actually be in Nozomi's. Oh. Yes, he should. His disappearance sent the entire academy into an uproar. So, Ryotaro, why have you come to the TSC? Me and Mr. VP are partners now. Just until we take down this pesky little pack bear. That's all. 
Excuse me? He's a pack bear, lady. How do you know about the pack bears in the first place? Because I'm the pack bearer of gluttony. Duh. <laughs> like, duh, man. A pack bear? Yeah. I got. I think I need to sit down. <laughs> so, your current comrade is a derelict drifter of a delinquent. Hmm? Oh, boy. <laughs> Where's that voice coming from? You've given another pact bearer your clearance. It should be no trouble to make my appearance. Really, he screams like a girl. <laughs> Such a feisty, fearless fellow. Look upon me, for I am Vanitas, a mighty being born of the abyss. And you, human, are irresistibly interesting. Intriguing, in fact. What? Devote yourself dutifully to my dominion, and I may be fain to furnish a few favors. This a stuffed animal or something? <laughs> no way. Is this thing a demon? Yup, he's my monarch. Eh, not like I care either way. The only will I follow is my own. Yeah. It would seem, VP, that you have quite a knack for bringing these utterly deranged people back. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh. Huh. This little guy's pretty damn fluffy. What is this, Rex fur? That's some swanky shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, stop! Be gentle with Mr. Bunny! You're going to stretch his ears out! <laughs> Taro, humor me for a moment. Has the vice president explained how dangerous using your authority can be? Yeah. And? So what? <gasps> so what? It's capable of distorting the very fabric of our reality. That's what. Who cares? It can't be that big a deal. I mean, it's nothing compared to a weapon of mass destruction. True. It's... Like, who cares? There's nukes out there anyway. I ain't planning on giving it up for anything. And I ain't gonna let you guys take me out either. I've oh, got trust me, we're gonna take your pal. ass out. If those guys can kick we're your ass, I'm sure I could. Because it's convenient. But if any of you get in my way after this, we just might end up on opposite sides. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's actually straightforward about that. Holy shit. Uh, oh, what? I heard Subaru. You good looking. Oh, wait, I... So you're the infamous Ryotaro Date. Infamous? It's weird how his name is Date. I thought it's Date. Even us middle schoolers know about how much of a completely hopeless problem child you are. <laughs> Holy shit, Junior. <laughs> Calm down. I always figured that if the rumors were true, that made you vermin infesting our academy. But now that I know you're the pact bearer of gluttony, well, it's even worse than I thought. Hostile takeover is more of a plague than a power. It even sounds like an invasive species. You're no better than a maggot. Damn! <laughs> Pretty sharp tongue you got there. You're Shinya Yuda, right? The dean and Mr. Yugo's kid? Adopted kid would be more accurate. Great fight. Adopted or not, you're still their kid, right? I guess. But that doesn't mean I'm going to just go around parading the fact I don't have the guts to do something like that to them. <laughs> Who's the problem child now? What? If I'm a plague of maggots, doesn't that make you a little roach? All you do is talk crap on yourself while you roll around in the gutters. Damn! <sighs> Are you trying to pick a fight with me? You're the one who started it. What's so wrong about calling a maggot a maggot? Self-righteous pact bearers like you shouldn't even exist in the first place. Oh. You know, if you want me to shatter your ideals first, I can. Bring it on, you little shit stain. It'll just end with you crying home to mommy. Hey! Come on, guys! No fighting! I'll just stand there and watch! Do something about this! Uh... I, I like watching an instant fighting match. <laughs> right, because I don't like that. <sighs> what? 
You really think I'm gonna waste my time trading blows with a toddler? This little shouting match ends here. You wanna shatter my ideals? Fine. Bring it on. I'll be there to put you in your place. Right back at you. Damn! Talk about aggressive, holy. I didn't expect that. Yo, Four Eyes. I hear you're a pack bearer too. Wow. Affirmative. I am the pact bearer of sloth. But that aside, it is rude to address one by appearance upon meeting. You should call me by my name, Kokoro Sarugadai. <laughs> all right, all right. Sarugadai it is. Name's Ryotaro Date, pact bearer of gluttony. Good to meet you. A pleasure to meet you as well, Date. Huh? Date? You were a first year, right? <laughs> that should be evident from the color of my ribbon, yes. Damn. Yeah. Thought so. They're all aggressive to each other, aren't they? What is it, Date? Is something bothering you? Nah. Just not used to being called that by anyone younger than me. Huh. You referred to me by my surname. I am simply responding in kind. Should I not have done so? Eh, do whatever you want. Very well. But should you ever dislike the way I address you, you need only say so. I can always give you a nickname. Big D. Or Little Rio. For instance. What the fuck? Ah, uh, thanks. But hard pass. Big D. Pity. Ryotaro it is then. Incidentally, as you are the packed bearer of gluttony, does that imply your authority is related to food? Nah. My ability's called hostile takeover. It lets me steal other people's power from my own. That way, I can gorge myself on as much power as I can handle. Perfect fit for gluttony. Am I right? Yep. Ah, I see. How very... impressive. Doesn't sound all that convincing when you're sighing up a storm. What are you so bummed about? Yucky soba bread. Uh-huh. Uh I expected that if your ability were food-related, you might be able to procure some for me. Wow. Hey, Mr. VP. This chick playing with a full deck, or...? Uh... It's fine. Precisely. I am both safe <laughs> and secure. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. You will be safe and secure. Oh, how was that? Alright, anyways, I'm ready to do some calls because holy shit. I got my ass kicked. And don't forget about this one, the doctor. Yo. Hey, Dr. Yep. Kakero. Oh, <laughs> you guys know each other? Damn, Kinda makes sense. That's one messy desk. Dr. Nako was complaining about it earlier, but this is way worse than what I was thinking. I want, hey, Ryotaro, are you trying to hook up with the nurse? <laughs> oh, Ryotaro. What? This desk is as clean as ever right now. <laughs> And you're proud of that, old man? That's young man to you. Damn, that seems kind of aggressive. Hey, Vice Prez, how'd you manage to bag this character? Wow, everybody did not like him. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but even I can't cure a total lack of direction. Wow. That's a lack of direction. Wait, you don't know how bad it is? Oh, right. You've got memory loss. Probably better that way in this case. Uh, uh well, I just learned I might have been dead. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to be nice and polite over here. Why you gotta come at me like that? I never get lost. Wait, you never noticed? What? Noticed what? I'm just stating facts. Yeah, maybe I take some detours, but I always get where I'm going. Eventually. Oh, oh my gosh, so he is. He, he does, doesn't know where the fuck he goes. <laughs> so that time you vanished during that field trip was just one big month long detour? When you finally <laughs> returned to the academy, you brought a whole truckload of souvenirs with you, literally. Man, that takes me back. I think I got the teacher some Ryukyu and pottery. 
pottery. All you gave me was a creepy wooden doll. <laughs> That's a Nipopo. I got it when I stopped by Hokkaido on the way back from the school camping trip. Man, <laughs> good memories. Oh my god, he does get lost. I am Hitchhiking, scared and worried. Meeting different people wherever I went. I am like... It helped me learn that it's possible to get by, even if you're flat broke. Huh. You're a good kid, Vice Prez. And good kids don't want to grow up like him. Got it? <laughs> so, why are you two running around together? You already know about the other world and pack bears and shit. I'm the pack bearer of gluttony. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I don't really see eye to eye with these TSC people. Yo, what's up? But the pack bear in the second year building is a real piece of work. Until that clears up, we're in a ceasefire. What do you mean? We didn't even know you existed. How's it a ceasefire? We just barely met. The second year building? Isn't Dr. Shiro Neko there? Yeah, she's fine. Running around, healthy as ever. That's good to hear. Make sure Dr. Shiro Neko stays safe, all right? That goes for both of you. Oh, so has a crush. I can't slack off if she never comes back. <sighs> How'd you manage to trick the Academy into hiring a sleazebag like you to take care of us? Don't worry about it. I'm the <laughs> kind of guy who knows when and where to be. I can handle things just fine if I put my mind to it. Oh, yeah? I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> Maybe you will someday. Oh, boy. Foreshadowing. Anyway, I take it you're here for a checkup. Two guys, huh? Nah. I'll still do my job. <laughs> He's like, damn. And here I tell you, you're the ultimate harem king. God damn boy. <laughs> Just laughing. You seem kind of pale. I'm yeah, heal me. You're good to go. Here's some medicine. All right, cool. Don't push yourself. Wait, wait. Damn it! I don't want to hear you. Don't. No. Fuck you. Oh. Yeah, she died. Take this. Damn, this is fucking. I didn't realize it's help. Holy shit. I'm with you. Command. It is done. Yeah. You're good at this. Well, we see the another step <laughs> the Yes, we did it. All that grinding. God, that means I need a little more. I didn't expect it to be that strong or that gappy. Alright, let's see who this is. Yeah, it's the old man. Lexatious. Enviable. Hateful. Of course, it's the old man. Detestable. Hmm. Their unmerited joy. Their undeserved peace. Their un it was I who brought smiles to their faces. It was I who brought joy to their lives. Guy, he's... I do not like this image. Even though it was I who deserved it most. I I Why it is most. it I who suffers so? Why is it I who wallows in anguish? What? Why is he on? They are unworthy, yet happy. While I am worthy, yet miserable. This world is unjust. This must be a mistake. If I must remain in misery, then they should be even more miserable than I. Huh. Oh. The vexation. What is he on about? What the... F the hell was that? You're telling me I didn't... Hmm. 
Must be one jealous will. Probably means the sin is envy, huh? Yup. <laughs> what a lame ass pack bearer. <laughs> I'd never see eye to eye with someone like that. I wish I wish I could say the same shit about Kuruma, but turns out he was a pack bear and his backstory sucked ass. I hope ooh, yeah. his pack bear might be better. Rio Taru is kind of an oddball, but I don't think he's a bad. Nozomi still won't let her guard down around him though. No surprise there. <laughs> By the way, I heard that Dr. Shiro Neko is at the second year building. You've already met her, right? Wasn't she the greatest? Key, we're still not talking. You're not talking about the paper you saw. What? Doctor Shiraneko is a saint. How could you not recognize that? I don't know. She's kind of suspicious. Beautiful and nice. You don't see a combination like that every day. Oh, there are some rumors about her. I hear she likes to drink and that she has terrible luck with men. All right, that'd be much worse. So make her any less nice. I don't know, dude. Oh, you want to talk to you? So, I heard from Madam Prez that you got amnesia. Does yeah, losing 50, your 50. memory change your personality, too? Right. Guess there's no point in asking if you wouldn't remember. But speaking of personality changes... Okay. Mr. Tsumabuki was a normal old man before. Huh. What could have made him change so much? I wouldn't want to end up like him when I get old. All shriveled and spineless. <laughs> wow. What, what, what aggressive, man. But... That's, I don't know. Like, like I said, that note from Chi right there. I, yeah, I think, I think we were dead. It makes sense here again. Hey, Kokoro! Uh, let me go. <laughs> oh, you want to talk to you? <laughs> of the information humans analyze, they say 80% is derived from the eyes. I'll reveal what? the desires with which you concur by testing what colors and shapes you prefer. All right, let's bring Question on. Question one. Which entity would you select from these two if both claim they'll make all your wishes come true? Let's see, I want to be evil or good. Or is this like supposed to be a twist where it's like, oh, even though one looks menacing, it's not actually menacing. Let's Question two. Designate the dragon you deem most desirable. Question three. Would you prefer Hera, Austere, and Spruce? Or Moon Goddess Artemis, daughter of Zeus? <laughs> Question four. On one person's mind is a mathematics test, the other a dream from their last night's rest. From out of these two, which does it seem is the one remembering their dream? What the fuck? Oh, this is trippy. Oh, these these are trippy. I'm I'm not even joking. Like every time I look at one, it looks like the other one is looking at the other. Oh God! All right. Uh, one person, my the other dream from their last rest from. Um, this one. Question five. You catch your partner cheating on you. In what way would you look at the two? Purple or red? Being Question green. six. You go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Which set of food do you put on your tray? And before I get, I'm gonna get this. Question seven. Pick the picture you prefer. No Question fight. eight. You're instructed in art class to draw up a tree. Which one is closer to your mental imagery? I want circles. This may be because the questions were skewed, but your desire for envy is of great magnitude. Your desire for pride 
is no slouch either. You're a capable sort. That much you believe. But you still get upset by what others achieve. Huh. But envious thoughts can be strong motivation. If you also pursue growth or self-affirmation, such power would certainly pay off for you. Stay true to your wants, as you already do. Oh, okay. That was a weird test. It's not like the other two were just like stories. That one was just weird. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop it here. So like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, peace out.